hello everybody in this video we are going to create our first uh, level and let's create our environment so we will go to window and procedural words Gaia and then show Gaia manager here we have selected 512 meter square we need uh, this much train so that's fine and then we will create train and show stamper so now our train is placed so we will select the stamp now let's go to valleys stamper and we will place a valley stamp here and now you can see height is too much so we will decrease the height and then we will stamp the train after that we will create spawners and we don't need this window now because we will not create player and post processing so we will select textures and we will spawn the textures after that we will select game objects and spawn the game objects so it will place some houses and stones in our em environment and then we will place the trees second type of trees and then in the last we will place the detail texture which, which is grass so details so that's nice we have created our train successfully and you can see the nice textures and nice looking train so second step is to create our road system so we'll go to 3d object a road and a new road network so here we will select the type to dart track we already have this prefab so we will increase the width of the road to something like 8 and we will add a new object and then uh, we will create our track so press shift and click okay so we have uh, built a track and uh, now if uh, we build the train we can see the final result so yeah now you can see that we have a nice track okay uh, we can build the side objects as well but uh, I will show you one problem here so let's go to edit mode and you can see here that we have a stone inside the road so when we build the train uh, this problem is fixed but if we create the side objects so in this case we will select the side object general we already have the type added here and we have selected fence too so if we select the side object and if we build the side object here you can see a problem here okay so you can see that this is uh, this uh, side uh, object this section will be in the air okay so let's build the train and analyze this problem so now you can see that our side object this section is in the air okay so also we will find lot of other problems as well so side object uh, side objects are not consistent due to train uh, fluctuations okay so how we can fix this issue so what we will do we will delete this side object here and we can't create a new road network okay we can't create until we have finished this road network okay so first we will build the train 
and then we will finalize this road network okay so we will click on finalize road network so what will happen it will finalize this road network is finalized now and now what we can do we can create a new road network and we will we can create the side objects okay so that is the process so now first of all we will check the road and sometimes the Gaia objects are placed uh, can be present on the road so that can create some problems if uh, they are stones or houses etc so we will recheck the road so if road is clear then we are happy okay so road is almost clear and we can move these objects okay like this and we can place these near to road as well so anyhow now we can create a new network so let's create a new network this network is finalized if we click on this network you will find nothing here okay because this is finalized so 3d object new road network now we can create a new road network here and we can rename it to side and now we can create the side objects so let's select the uh, side object general and add new object and now hopefully it will not create any problem so shift click and now you can see it's quite nice and consistent so that's nice I will place the side network uh, side objects and then we will resume this video okay we have created nice side object throughout the track so it takes around uh, I think five minutes maybe so it's very easy with easy rows network so very easy to create side objects as well so we have created a nice track with side object as well okay so now uh, we can create some <coughs> uh, other signs uh, road signs as well so for that purpose I have uh, imported one asset from asset store uh, uh, now I am offline I think so I have imported the US signs you can import any other um, asset for signs or this one or you can also uh, create your own signs as well so just pick the pictures like this these are the images so you can get the images and then you can place your images on boxes and you can display that images so uh, now we can place these uh, signs around uh, our track uh, so if we place this one you can see this is a nice <coughs> sign over here and it don't have uh, the mesh here actually in the bottom we don't have any mesh I think so sign packing sign and yeah we don't have so what we can do we can place some uh, boxes here or cylinder or any other game object and we can uh, make our sign uh, a road sign as uh, perfect okay so uh, here for example we we can just uh, delete this prefab and here we will place the sign so for example here we can place um, 
yeah we we will start from here okay so we can place a sign this sign as well here yeah or this only sign yes this is nice i think so we we will place this one here only and we will use this only signs in our environment okay so here we will create a cube or sphere whatever uh, sorry capsule cylinder or any other object we can do we will create this cube here and we will make this cube smaller like this and like this okay and the height is quite enough i think uh okay height uh yeah we will increase the height little bit and cube will place it here okay so that's nice so we can duplicate these signs and then we can change the texture okay so we can change this uh, top as well so what we can do we can place this sign inside this cube okay so cube is the main uh, object so here we will change the on the left sign and we'll duplicate this and we will place it here similarly we will uh, what we we can do we can just create a game object here and we will rename it to signs and we will place these signs under this game object okay so uh, we can duplicate okay so like this i have just showed you the example that how we can place the signs around our uh, track so i will place the signs here and uh, then in next video we will create player car that's it for this video goodbye